Good morning everyone. Hey, welcome to Mainly Music today. Today is the last session of the year, 2021, and we're going to have a Christmas session for you today. So uh, I hope you've got your big person ready to sing some fun songs with, and we're going to start off with our welcome song, Tēnā Koe. Ete atua ho mai ki e mātou, tōu maramatanga, tōu rangimārie, tōu kaha me tōu aroha, mō tēnei rā, aki, 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 āmene. Right, now the first song that we're going to sing today is We Wish You a Merry Christmas, because um, I do, I do wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So um, you need to stand up for this one because we're going to be doing some clapping and some jumping around the room and some swaying. So, are you ready? Okay. Are you ready, Teddy? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. someone's knee to sit on so that we can dash through the snow on a one horse open sleigh ringing our jingle bells okay so let's go and get ready for that all right so I've got my bells now I just need Teddy he can come and slide on my sleigh with me all right here we go Okay. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. On a one horse open sleigh, over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bells will ring, making spirits bright. Oh, what fun to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight! 
Christmas and it had our friends um, Penguin, Elephant, Ava the Squirrel, Eddie the Kiwi and Malu the Kangaroo. So I think we can just quickly read it again to, to see what we're up to. It's early December and time to prepare. There's bustling here and busyness here. Yes, Christmas is coming. It won't be long now. Shall we get ready? Our five friends know how. Right, now what were they doing last week? I think Penguin unpacking the bright decorations. It has to look right for the celebration. And elephants baking smells waft through the air. There's spices and sugar and flour everywhere. And Ava's wrapping some gifts she has made, strawberry jam and lime marmalade. She's gathered some nuts to put in bright bags, watching our colouring, some special gift tags. Giving gifts is nice at Christmas too, isn't it? Where's Eddie? He's all in a tangle we see. Uh oh, stringing the lights on the tall Christmas tree. The wires are in knots that are hard to untie, but he patiently works out the how and the why. And what was Malu doing? Malu unpacks the nativity set. We're going to have the best Christmas yet. Here is Mary and Joseph, the shepherds and the kings, the sheep and a donkey, an angel who sings. But oh no, where is Jesus? Malu looks here and Malu looks there, but she can't find Jesus anywhere. Help, help! Malu cries to her friends in distress. Without any Jesus, we'll be in a mess. With no Christ in our story, there is no reason to celebrate Christmas this festive season. Oh no! Malu's looking in the fridge for Jesus. Ava looks up. And Eddie looks down. Choo. Where is Jesus? They ask with a frown. And Penguin looks over and Elephant under. Where to look next? They start to wonder. Malu looks left and Ava looks right. Jesus is clearly nowhere in sight. Have you ever had that experience where you just can't find something? Something's missing, it's really frustrating. They meet at the tree with sad, gloomy faces. Do you think that we've looked in all the right places? An angel told shepherds a long time ago where to find Jesus, the right place to go. Maybe we could look it up. So where is our angel and where can we look? There's one in the story in the special book. A special book that tells about the first Christmas. It's called the Bible. Your saviour is wrapped in some cloths in the hay. He's there in the manger born today. Did we look in the manger? We didn't, it's true. Let's run and look now. We'll follow you. We all thought that Jesus was nowhere around. We feared he was lost and might never be found. 
The friends say together it's clear we've been wrong. Now we all know he was here all along. Can you see him? Manger. I'll show you what a manger is in a minute. It's nearly Christmas and time to prepare. There's bustling here and busyness there. With the Christ in our story, there is a reason to celebrate Christmas this festive season because Jesus is the special gift that God gave to us on the very first Christmas and that is the end of the story. Can you see baby Jesus was in the manger? What is a manger? Well I happen to have one here. So can you see I've got a cow and a sheep and a manger with the baby Jesus in it. And what it was, was that poor Mary, the mother, she was going to have a baby, but there was nowhere to stay, so she had to have the baby in a stable where the animals lived, cows and sheep and donkeys. And the cows would eat from the hay from a manger. A manger is a food box, a box with special cow food. And cows like to eat hay and all grass. And so, it was just the right size for a baby. And so Mary had her baby, she wrapped him up carefully and nicely in some white cloths. And then that's where the baby slept, on a bed of hay in the manger. And that's a funny true story about, um, about baby Jesus. Isn't it funny? And there's the sh cow. The cow must have thought it was very funny having a, a baby where it normally ate his food. And there's the sheep. Alright. Alright, so we'll put that story away. And now I think it's time to sing a song. We are going to sing a song called Five Angels. Now, if you got the email, you might have seen an attachment with a printout of some angels and shepherds and Mary and Joseph and the baby, Jesus in a manger. And um, I've cut them out and coloured them in this week. But if you haven't got those, you can just use your five fingers and we can count down five, four, three, two, one. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> showed you last week. So can you see Mary and Joseph, uh, the proud parents smiling because baby Jesus is in the manger. Can you see that? Look 
he comes out. This is a beautiful hand carved nativity set. And there's the cow wondering why there's a baby in his feed box. And then we've got the shepherd with the sheep and they came running down when the angels told them the good news. And then we have the three wise men carrying gifts coming from afar, far away on their camels, following the star to see the newborn king, which was the baby Jesus. So that is a nativity set. So we're going to put our, our props away now. And, um, and now let's see what's inside our kitty. Hmm, where's the kitty today? Here we go. I wonder what's inside my kitty, I wonder what it is. Can you guess what's inside my kitty? Can you guess what this is? Are you ready? Oh, what's this? It's a present, isn't it? Or a gift. Someone's wrapped it up, put it in a box, and put a special bow on top. And um, I think it's going to be given to someone. And you know that at Christmas and at birthdays too, sometimes people give presents. It's to show their love for each other. And um, sometimes people put the presents under a tree. So shall we put this present under the tree? But um, sometimes people don't have lots of things for presents, but you can make something for a present. And the best presents are often t um, good times that you spend with people. And um, I think that God gave the best present ever, which was when he gave his son, Jesus, who was born in the manger. God spent his special son, son of God, he's known as um, baby Jesus who grew up to be a man, Jesus Christ. And that's why we have the word Christmas. It comes from the word Christ. So, um, we're going to sing a song now that is to do with the star. Because, because the baby Jesus was born and he was going to be the son of God and this king, um, God put a special star in the sky, which was a giant star that the wise men from the east saw. And they thought, oh, we need to follow that. And worship this new king and, um, and we can just use the song twinkle twinkle christmas star so um, let's sing that one and i'll blow some bubbles if you've got some bubbles you can use those as well for the song Christmas time is do some cooking and eating. So I have a, a rhyme about five Christmas cakes with a cherry on the top. I just drew these on paper and coloured them with coloured pencils. So we'll count them out. There's one, two, three, four, five, five Christmas cakes. And then um, we're going to um, take them away and give them to someone mm, because it's so nice to give gifts to people because they it shows that we're thinking of them so uh this rhyme has no music so um we're just going to sing it like this 
five Christmas cakes in the baker's shop. Round and sweet with the cherry on the top. Along came a special person one day. They bought a Christmas cake and took it away. Mmm, now who should we give this one to? I think we'll give this one to Teddy. Here you go, Teddy. You can have a Christmas cake. So now we've got one, two, three, four left. Four Christmas cakes in a baker's shop. A round and sweet with the cherries on the top. Along came a special person one day. Bought a Christmas cake and took it away. Mmm, who should we give this one to? I think that we'll give it to the cow. Here we go. You can have a Christmas cake. Merry Christmas. Three Christmas cakes in a baker's shop. Round and sweet with the cherry on the top. Along came a special person one day. Bought a Christmas cake and took it away. Oh, this is a big one. Who should we give this Christmas cake to? Shall we give it to the sheep? Here you go, sheepy. You can have a Christmas cake. And now we have two left. Two Christmas cakes in a baker's shop. Round and sweet with the cherry on the top. Along came a special person one day. Bought a Christmas cake and took it away. Alright, shall we save this one for baby Jesus? He might not be able to have real, a real Christmas cake when he's a baby, but I think that we can give him a gift. Maybe his mum could have that one. Alright, we've got one left. One Christmas cake in a baker's shop. Round and sweet with the cherry on the top. Along came a special person one day. Bought the Christmas cake and took it away. Now, is there anyone else who would like a Christmas cake with a cherry on the top? I would like to give this to you. Can you come closer and yeah, you take you take this Christmas cake? Go. Okay. It's my special gift to you. <laughs> How about that? Okay. Yum. Oh, I think I feel like doing some cooking now. All right, we're going to do a nice cuddly rhyme now. So, I'm going to get Teddy uh, to cuddle. Let me put that Christmas cake down. Yeah. And you might have had um, this printout sent on your email, which is the Christmas countdown. And this rhyme is a rhyme that we can um, do with our, our, our kids. We can, we can cuddle them, and we can tickle them, and we can kiss them. And it goes like this. Five sleepy sheep underneath the tall green trees. Let's count them all. Can you see the sheep? One, two, three, four, five. Bouncing on my knees. Four shining stars sparkle in the dark of night. Let's count each one. One, two, three, four. As I hug you tight. Three camel travellers. Gifts, myrrh, frankincense and gold. Let's count the gifts. Are you ready? One, two, three to match the camels. One, two, three. Wrap arms, cuddle, and hold. Ooh. Now we're down to two. Two Christmas books to read when you're in bed. Let's count each book. One, two. Tickle your head. One Jesus sleeping. The manger is his bed. Let's count him. You see, Teddy? Now I'll kiss your head. Mm. Okay. Well, it's lovely to um, do the session with you today. We're going to sing our thankful song. And I'm thinking that I'm really thankful that no matter what's happening, um, even if we didn't get any presents ever in our whole lives, 
we still got the present of Jesus, God giving his son to us on earth to grow up and be our Christ. So um, let's sing our thankful song. We're thankful, we're thankful, we'd like to say we're thankful for hands and feet and food we eat. Thank you God for gifts and the special gift from God, Jesus. And I thank him for all, for you and all my family and friends as well who are special gifts from God too. Right, and we must always remember to say thank you to them someone for giving us a gift. Okay, let's sing our Te Aroha song to finish off today. Are you ready? Te Aroha Te Whakapono Me summer have lots of fun and um, hope to see you next year um, so signing off for me um, ka kite anō bye bye